Now, time to take a look at your championship contestants at 112 pounds. In Class A, it'll be Joel Torpy of Miller Town beating David Laughlin of Omaha Burke in Class B. Deontay Carter, Boys Town, a freshman beating another freshman, Matt Katuzin of Omaha Scott Catholic. Class C, Andy McCorney of Bennington, an undefeated junior, beats Ricky Trevino of Bayard. And in Class D, a Doug Carroll of Aquinas, another freshman, meets sophomore Jess Wells and then Selma Myrna. And again, now Selma Myrna is still uh, in the race for that team title, so a big match for them in Class D. Norfolk Catholic will have their guys coming up. Or Amherst. Amher Amherst is in oh, the that's right. It's not, <laughs> well, I, I just made some people in Anselmo excited, but it is said, How did we get in this team race? Yeah. I'll tell you, a great match to watch is going to be in Class B between Deontay Carter of Boystown and Matt Katusen of Omaha Scut. These two have met twice this year. They've split back and forth. Carter won the last one at Districts. And, of course, Matt Katusen, the younger brother of former four-time state champion Jason Katusen, of Springfield Platteview. The Katusen family at this point is 19 and 0 in the state tournament in Nebraska. That is an unbelievable statistic in Class A. We have two points scored already. Joel Torpy of Millard South took down Dan McLaughlin of uh, Omaha Burke and he cut him loose to make it two to one. That's another matchup, another rubber match over there because David Laughlin and Joel Torpy have split this year as well. One win apiece against each other. And Torpy was a uh, state runner-up last year at 103 pounds in Class A. He'd like to make it a state title this year. Right now, he's uh, trying to get the takedown. Those two are battling pretty good. Uh, Laughlin uh, almost able to uh, get him taken down, but not quite. And the undefeated returning state champion, Class C, Andy Picorni, has got Ricky Trevino of Bayard in trouble already. He's got the takedown, and now he's trying to get some back points. But, oh, Trevino slips out of the headlock and gets the reversal. I'll tell you, Andy Picorni, though, very technically sound wrestler. And the he's, junior, he's 98 and 14 on his career for Bennington. And they're waiting to see. He's either going to get escape or two points, one of the two. He still uh, is in a position trying to get two points. But uh, he's going to get a reversal. And, yep, he got it. And now goes the lead. Again, as you mentioned, he's undefeated this year and a defending state champion. So uh, he is just a junior as well. And now he's getting back points this time for sure. He's going to get at least two point. There it is, two point near false. So and now he extends his lead to six to two. No scores in the B or D matches yet. However, in Class A, it is two to one yet. Uh, Joel Torpy of Millard South leading David Laughlin of Omaha Burke is uh, they're down to 30 seconds to go in the first period. Winding down in the first period in Class D and getting close to getting some points was uh, Jess Wells and then Selma Myrna, but couldn't quite pull it off. And they'll go into with 10 seconds to go. And Torpy's going to get another takedown on Laughlin in Class A. He now leads four to one. We'll see Joel Torpy's twin brother Jay in the finals in the next match at 119 pounds. Still zero as we're winding down in the final first period over in Class B between Deontay Carter of Boystown and Matt Katus. And again, that match is going to be tight. Andy McCorney still leading at 6-2 in Class C over Ricky Trevino of Bayard as uh, they are in the second period in that match. Getting set to start the second period in Class D as they have now got it underway with still no score in that match between Doug Darrow of Aquinas and Jess Wells of Anselmo Myrna. And Deontay Carter of Boystown takes the first lead in Class B. 1-0 with the escape in the second period. Well, in Class A, Joel Torpy definitely feels more comfortable uh, in the up position as he again turns uh, David Laughlin loose to make that a 4-2 score. So apparently pretty confident on his feet as they get underway in the second period in Class A. Andy Picorni still leading 8-2 in Class C. He's had a fairly easy road to the finals. He had two first period pins and a 15-0 tech fall, and he's close to getting another pin here. He's got a minute to go in the second period. Trying to wrap up his second state title. In Class B, it's a 1-0 lead right now for Deontay, uh, Deontay Carter of Boys Town over Matt Katuzin of Omaha Scott Catholic. And there's the fall. The champion at 112 pounds in Class C, Andy Picorni of Bennington, finishes his season undefeated 37-0 with his second state title, and he's just a junior. So he has a chance to be a three-time champion, which is a great accomplishment in this tournament. We've had quite a few three-time champions and not too many four times, but it's still a great achievement. Meanwhile, it is 4-2 in Class A. 
And your leaders, Joel Torpy and Miller South over David Laughlin of Omaha Burke. In Class B, it's still that 1 0 lead for Deontay Carter of Boys Town over Matt Catuzin of Omaha Scott Catholic. And in Class D, another tight one. Doug Darrell of Aquinas now leads it 1 0 over Jess Wells and Anselmo Murda as he got an escape here in the second period. Doug Darrell of Aquinas, another member of the Darrell family. Anybody from around that area knows that name in the wrestling community. Three of his brothers, all state medalists. He's wrestling for coach Tony Horacek. Just a freshman, but he's ranked first in the state in Class D. And Wells only has lost once. He's a sophomore. He's only lost once this year, but uh, Ooh, unranked. Darrell was in on a shot, and Wells was able to counter it and get the legs in and get the takedown. Now he leads two, two to one with nine seconds left in the second period. Winding down in the second period now in Class A as uh, Joel Torpy who uh, cut David Laughlin of Omaha Burke loose to try to get a takedown wasn't able to get the takedown and now it's a 4 2 lead so it'll be up to Laughlin who have the top position to try to score some points from there he'll either have to turn him over or come up with another strategy. We've just started the third period in class B Deontay Carter of Boys Town leads Matt Katusen of Omaha Scut by one and Katusen took the down position here in the third Carter trying to ride him. Another double shot attempt by Joel Torpy of Millard South, fought off by David Laughlin of Burke. David Laughlin's brother Dylan was a state champion for Burke a few years ago. He had a great match in the semifinals. Had a big throw right at the end of the period to send the match into overtime. Got in a mad scramble in overtime to get the takedown to win over Wien, the number one ranked wiener of Fremont. They are now in the third period in Class D with a 2-1 edge for Jess Wells and then Selma Murda over Doug Darrell of Aquinas. That is 3-1. That escape, he goes ahead 3-1. We're tied up now 1-1 one one in Class B between Carter of Boys Town and Tucson of Scut. Tucson getting the escape here in the third period. Meanwhile, in Class A, they have about a minute and a half to go in the third period. And it is now a 5-2 lead for Joel Torpy and Miller and South. So Joel scored a couple of more points. First meeting between Katusen and Deontay Carter. Katusen won at the Omaha Scut Tournament by catching Carter in a couple of headlocks and finally pinning him. Deontay Carter won their last meeting at Districts, avoiding that headlock. If you just turned on the TV and wonder where Andy Picorni of Bennington and Ricky Trevino of Bayard are, well, Andy Picorni scored a pin to become a two time state champion in Class C. So he has finished his match early while everybody else still battling. We are down a minute in the third period in Class A and down a minute to go in Class D. They have about 30 seconds to go in Class B. So the 112 pound championship match is starting to wind down. Darrell trying to get a takedown in D, but a nice counter move by Wells. Can he still come? He's still trying to sit out and uh, get the takedown. They are battling and battling. And who's going to. The takedown by Darrell would tie it. Oh, he almost had a nice counter move by Wells. He's still, he still staying on that single leg. They're down to 36 seconds to go in Class D. Down to the final 20 seconds in B. Still tied at one. We may see another overtime match. There's a stall, stall warning against Katusen. Down to 30 seconds to go in Class A with Joel Torpy Millard South still leading it five to two over David Laughlin of Omaha Burke and. Torpy almost got a takedown. He's still working at it. Under 19 seconds to go in that match. And still 15 seconds to go uh -oh, in Class Laughlin. D. Laughlin almost had Torpy in trouble there as they go out of bounds. No points awarded. Again, Torpy leads 5-2 in Class A. Torpy of Millard South over Laughlin of Burke. And there goes Darrell in Class D trying to desperately get two more points, but that will be the end of it. And your state champion in Class D is going to be Just Wells and Anselmo Murda as he wins it 3-1 to one over Doug Darrell of Aquinas. We've got overtime in Class B. And we have a state champion in Class A, Joel Torpy of Millard South, wins 5-2 to two over David Laughlin of Omaha Burke. So your state champion again, Joel Torpy of Millard South, the senior, gets a state title this year as he had to settle up for a state runner up uh, last year so he'll be a very happy senior for Millard South. But yeah. now we look at the class B match. Yeah, now Millard, in overtime. Millard South and Scott uh, both again trying to set the all class point record. Millard South already has it in A and Scott already has it in B now. Millard South has 223 points 
right now in Class A, just shattering the old record. No one's ever gone over 200 before, and Scott is at 211 and a half. Again, Scott has another wrestler on the mat right now, and they've got six more waiting in the wings. And there's a throw, Kevin and Carter is going to get the takedown. Deontay Carter is your state champion. He got a beautiful takedown in overtime, sudden death overtime, and will win it three to one. But just a little hip toss through through Katusen by. And Deontay Carter, the freshman, gets a state title for Boys Town. Well, that got the crowd who woke up a little bit. As a little bit of excitement there for Deontay Carter, the freshman scoring the upset. The Boys Town is in third place currently. Uh, they're seven and a half points behind Plattsmouth in the Class B race, but I'm. They've got uh, Plattsmouth's got several wrestlers still yet to come, as does Boys Town. Again, we're hoping to have a, an attendance record this afternoon. We'll try to get that to you later on. Let's take a look at it now at the results at 112 pounds. Your state champion in Class A, Joel Torpy of Miller South, wins it 5 to 2 over David Laughlin of Omaha Burke. In Class B, your state champion is Deontay Carter of Boys Town, a 3 1 winner in overtime over Mac Tuzan of Omaha Scott Catholic, Class C. The state champion Andy Bacorny of Bennington, his second state title, he wins it by a pin over Ricky Trevina of Bayard. And in Class D, Jess Wells of Anselmo Murna wins it three to one over Doug Darrell of Aquinas. Now let's.